Hello, I'm Neil. You know, a lot of people ask me many questions about the conversations with God material. But a question I hear a lot is, what can we do if we wake up in the morning and don't feel any sense of achievement or meaning or purpose in our life? What if we're struggling with disease or a loss of a meaningful relationship? Or maybe just life is just not working out for us. What can conversations with God offer us? What can spirituality in general offer us in response to that? I want to say that I think that what the new spirituality provides us is an opportunity to see life in a new way. You know, you're never going to figure out life with your mind. If you're trying to resolve the challenges of life, meet the difficulties of life, or even bring greater meaning into your life, we're using your mind alone. I think you're going to have a very difficult time of it because the mind is not equipped with sufficient information, does not have sufficient data with which to truly probe the depths of these kinds of questions and bring us an answer, bring us any solution that's really satisfactory. What we have to do is find a way to open the doorway between the mind and the soul and then to consider the ageless and eternal wisdom of the soul. That's what conversations with God and more broadly the new spirituality offers us an opportunity to do. So my answer to the question, what if I wake up in the morning I'm just feeling that life is just not working out for me in any way, relationship-wise, career-wise, finances, it's just not what I thought it was going to be. I think the answer is to recontextualize your life, to give your life a new purpose, a new meaning, to bring a new understanding to your life by coming at the question of your life from the perspective and using the perception of the soul. That's what I like to share with people and I like to share with them when I have more time than I have right now exactly how to do that. I'd like to have an opportunity to do that with you as well. Another question that I get asked is, how can humanity overcome all the, the crises and difficulties in life? I mean, generally speaking, on the planet, you know, the kind of the planetary crisis that is going on everywhere. Is there any way to feel the divinity within us? And I think the answer is yes, of course there is. But it requires a constant decision to continually engage in an ongoing, I want to say a never-ending, conversation with God. Sometimes the best way to do that is to develop a routine, a process, not unlike daily meditation, but just a little bit different from that, a different kind of visitation, if I could put it that way, with your soul, where your mind and your soul, as I mentioned before, kind of join together in a collaborative meeting with divinity itself. There is a way to experience that cohesion, that collaboration, but it takes daily discipline and a daily decision to do so. But is it possible to experience divinity in our life? Oh, and by the way, what is a way that we can really help the world bring an end to the constant crises that we see all around the planet? I think the way to do that is for us to join together with others who are committed to a similar journey and a similar undertaking, and if I could put it that way, a similar mission. So I think a time has come now for us to really awaken the species. And I'd like to invite you to do that as well, to join in that whole process. I explain a lot of this in my newest book, which will be published very soon. And I also explain a lot of it in my messages to the world that I do by video all over the world. Perhaps we'll have a chance to visit again and I can share in greater depth what that could mean for you. But the simple answer to your question is yes, it is possible to experience divinity within yourself and in fact within all others. But it does take a certain discipline and a certain process and a certain determination to do so. That's what I share with people everywhere and hope we have a chance to talk with you about that as well. I'm Neil. Thanks for this opportunity to visit with you here. Mm -hmm.